Okay. Had a heck of a time getting the, uh, I will. Had a heck of a time getting that uh, transom all back up square to where it's even on both sides and uh, where the, uh, so when I uh, uh, put my new uh, transom boards on there that I make sure that they get a good adhesion to the, uh, uh, the uh, transom itself. So when I make my uh, thickened epoxy that uh, it all squishes up good there and, and I've measured and remeasured and, and I'm trying to make an apparatus here to take and uh, uh, get that on there and I've taken it off and cut it a few times so anyhow so far I've got all my bolts and everything through they're long enough so when I do add my three quarter inch uh, a piece of plywood in there that uh, they'll be able to take and uh, still get them all started and run them up tight and so I'm trying to squeeze that on there that one lower one that you see just above the uh, the hall there it's right up against the trans and nuts uh, I'm debating whether or not to go clear across with that all the way both ways so then the, but right now it's between that flat ones I got coming through the scupper holes and the ones for the tie downs at the top everything's looking good and uh, didn't have the boat tilt back enough got my helper here doing the uh, getting the buoyancy foam out from under there so I was wondering how I was going to do that so I found an easy way to do that so She's working diligently on that. Wave hi to everybody. Okay. And uh, so, this is where we are. We didn't get a lot done today. Uh, had some other things I had to work on. The air compressor. And, of course, I had to work on the water softener. You know, all those other things. And it uh, gets in the way of trying to get your boat done. So, anyhow, that's it for today. Okay. As I'm cutting my stringers, look at that. I think those are termites. There's some. That is not a good sign. That's making my boat project look kind of poor. I thought was rot. Over time is actually might be termites. Well, I don't think it's. Okay, I just wanted to touch base with you. I pretty much stopped right where I was at. I cut them stringers out. I'm uh, kind of disgusted right now. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to go on with this project or or cut my losses right where I'm at. That's kind of the way I'm feeling right now. Um, let me... Uh, you know, but... Uh, like I said, it's, uh, I think maybe I'll get a fresh start. I'll go ahead and cut that open up there, see what we've got, and just kind of go from there. And uh, I, uh, I really didn't want to cut that panel out that I cut out there, but uh, right now that's, uh, that's the only way we can get them stringers. See, I thought that uh, I was going to, just make me something a little longer than normal and then hook on to that but obviously from what I found earlier is not working out for me so I'm gonna cut that out and if that bulkhead across there is okay I mean uh, but uh, I'll probably cut it out to see if it's okay so I mean you know that's how could I totally be sure if I don't I mean, you know what appears I mean I I don't want to go this far and then turn around and uh, and do a half job after that. So I'll let you know. We'll probably uh, tomorrow I'll probably cut on some more and we'll decide what we're going to do and take a look at how they strengthen on that. I thought about drilling some holes in it, but I don't know that I that's going to be a fair evaluation. So. Uh, I'll finish cutting and we'll take a look tomorrow and I'll cut the other two stringers out on the left and we'll see what we can come up with. 
right now I'm not feeling too happy about the project. I'm almost to the point uh, that I could just say forget it and go on to a different boat. But uh, if I do go, if I do finish it from here, this will be like a brand new boat because it would be all the way. But I'll just right now I'm just not feeling too good about it, so we'll just see what we're gonna do. Talk to you later.